all right in this tutorial we actually need to work on our task a and task b and c so we can see this is actually one table where we need to input marks for the students and we need to input marks for mid one mid two and final and we can understand that while we are inputting it and while we are inputting lots of marks say here we have five but say if there's like 100 or 200 students whenever we are inputting it sometimes we make we can make mistake we can make mistake like we put 16 here but it has to be 15 or sometimes we mistakenly hit minus say minus 40 so th that also not true for this case so how we actually can refrain us from doing such mistakes the technique we should use is called data validation how we can do the data validation we need to select the desired cell where we need to validate the data after selecting we need to go to the data menu we need to click on data validation if we hit we see we have three tabs settings input message and error alert we usually use setting and error alert click on setting here we can see in the allow we have any value but we don't want to use any value in this regard rather we want to use one range so here you know like we can have marks like 14.5 13.5 so we use decimal so we are allowing decimal and the range should be minimum 20, 0 and maximum 15 so here in the mid one we can have minimum mark as 0 and maximum mark as 15 then we move to error alert if we hit error alert the title is say wrong input in mid exam 1 the error message can be please input from input between 0 and 50 so this is the message if we hit ok so this cell is validated now if we want to input 16 if we hit in we see we are actually getting one error message saying we are inputting it wrong and we have to input between 0 and 5 if we <coughs> try to input some negative marks here you see we are also getting the input message so this cell is validated how we can validate the latter cells all we need to do we need to select the one which is already validated we know the cursor is white plus we need to drag our cursor to the corner and then click and drag it means we are copying the formula So we actually validate at the top let's see whether it is working in the fifth one let's put 16 you know it is working so let's validate the other ones so here it's the mid exam 2 so again we have 15 percent so go to data data validation settings decimal between 0 and 15 error alert
OK. So this is again validated. Dragging it. Validate the exam. So here it's 16. So 0 to 16 should be the range. Go to data. Go to data validation. Settings decimal in between 0 and 60. Error alert. The message is fixed. Okay. It is working. Now we are dragging it down. So our table input area is validated as our wish. Now in the task 2, we actually need to create list. Here we have five orders. For those, we need to create some list. What another type of validation we can have is list. And before doing the list, let's name these areas. So I'm naming these two as category. Category. So the area is called category. I am naming these as here. So one of the categories we have is here. So I am naming this area as here. And I am naming this area as skin. Okay, the naming is done. So category is defined here is defined and skin is also defined perfectly so here <coughs> in this cell we need list how we can get list once again as this is data validation we need to go to data we need to go to data validation in the any value in the setting we have allow as any value but we need list if we click list the source we can write equals the name of our <coughs> category which is that is skin and here are our category the source as category so we are using the name equals category if we do that you see <coughs> in this cell we have one list from this list we can select hair or skin which are our category so <coughs> once again I need list here so I'm clicking here I am dragging it down so that in every cell I have my list so hair hair skin skin hair now I need product name but one issue is for hair we need the hair related products for skin we have skin related products so how we actually can make this thing dynamic for that we need to use one function called indirect the function is called indirect indirect let's see how we can use that so I'm putting the cursor here I'm going to the data so as I'm working in C4 I actually need to use this cell reference number B4 as I am working in C4 I need to use B4 as my reference I will tell you where I should use that so please make sure make note that as I'm working in C4 I need to use the reference as B4. Click on C4, go to data, go to data validation, from allow, go to list, in the source, 
write in direct within bracket b4 in direct b4 as source and if we do that click ok here as we have the category as here we see we are having the hair related products listed if we change this as skin in the product name we see only the skin related products are selected so we actually created dynamic list so these are not listed so we have the validation created here just drag this validation and you see we have the dynamic list created so if we select category as here we see the product will be related to here if we see select category as skin the products will be also related to skincare this is how we can use simple list or dynamic list